Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and most probably the autotune is the most amazing feature that ever happened to all the INA fixed wing pilots. Why? Because with the autotune you do not really have to worry about manually tuning your PID or PIDFF or PIFF controller that handles the stabilization of your airplane, fixed wing, flying wing, whatever. You just take off fly for a minute or two or five with the autotune enabled, disable autotune, land this arm, save new settings and most probably your airplane flies much better than in the beginning. However, however, there was something like an additional challenge for the autotune. Because before you started autotuning, you had to know the rates of how fast your airplane can rotate on roll and on the pitch. How to get those values? Well, it is possible, for example, to get them from the black box lock, but this kind of complicates everything or just guesstimate or just take anything from the default. Now, with the INAF 3.0, this changed dramatically because not only the INAF has now improved method of the auto-tuning your PID controller, but also INAF can tune your rates. But before we will proceed, if you would like to support this channel and the INAF and the INAF development, please consider becoming my patron on the Patreon. The link is in the description. And now back to the auto-tuning, improved auto-tuning. Starting from the INAF 3.0, the auto-tune is undergoing some major changes. There was a huge revise and refactoring of the whole algorithm that from the outside is, well, it works from the outside almost exactly the same as before. You still have to configure the auto-tune flight mode. You still have to... Maiden, you still have to take off, enable this thing, fly with this thing, disable the land and save the setting. But right now, auto-tune also handles the rate tuning. How it works? Every time you deflect your stick, auto-tune checks of what is the response of your airplane if there is still a room to rotate slightly faster or slightly slower. For example, if it feels that there is a potential to even increase the rotation speed when you deflect the stick, next time it will run the next iteration of check, it will slightly increase the rates. If, however, it detects that your airplane is lagging behind, not able to go as fast as you want, next time it will try to rotate slightly, slightly, slightly slower. This is why this takes away really probably one of the hardest things of tuning, of how to tune the rates. Right now, by default, the rates will be tuned, the P, I and fit forward gains will be tuned and as a result you will just have a much better flying airplane. So, should you retune your tunes with the INAF 3.0 and improved auto-tune? Yes, definitely yes. If not only to have the better PID values, but to have better tuned rates. Because rates are kind of important. You cannot demand more from your airframe than the airframe can offer. However, however, there is a small caveat because the new auto-tune with the rate tuning is not really compatible with the angle mode. So you absolutely should not try to tune your rates with the angle mode enabled because it will just not work. What you should do is you should tune this in the acro mode with the stabilization on but with self-leveling on. In the FPV mode this is natural and you, if you are kind of at least slightly used to flying a uh, line of sight without the self-leveling, you also should not have much problems. By default, INAF 3.0 comes with this rate tuning enabled. But if you really would like to go to an older method or different method, because there are in total three methods of uh, auto-tune, you can change it with the CLA command called the FW auto-tune rate adjustment. Auto 
auto setting is the auto setting. It will just automatically tune the rates. Limit uh, can only lower your rates comparing to the defaults, while fixed is not tuning your rates at all. My personal um, advice is just stick with the defaults auto and tune it with the auto with the acro mode enabled, which will just give you the best results of them all. That's all for today, but before we will end, do you know that I have a second YouTube channel? Yes, and over there I'm doing slightly different kind of the content. If you would like to know what kind of the content, please go there, maybe you will like the experience. And that's all for today, thank you very much for watching, bye bye!